Welcome! This video is about data preprocessing. At the end of the video, you would be able to describe the importance of data preprocessing, identify the steps for data preprocessing, and apply the techniques for data preprocessing. Data preprocessing is very important because sometimes the data that we receive is dirty and needs cleaning. Typically, in the data, it can be incomplete, noisy, or inconsistent, such as an, an example provided here. In data preprocessing are part of the steps of data mining and can be conducted based on data cleaning, data integration, data selection, and data transformation. This is an example of noise in a training dataset for Titanic where the yellow boxes here indicate missing data while here the purple data indicate big data gap where the largest value here is 71 and the smallest value here is 8 and 7 also here here also we can see example of inconsistent data where some of the records has ticket that consists of alphanumeric and some are uh, just, uh, just numbers. This is an example of the output of data preprocessing where based on the previous data we can transform by discretization to have family size. Transformation of data to have title instead of the name and using the married group and also the fair group. So all of these techniques is based on the data preprocessing. The tasks in data preprocessing can be described by data training, data selection, extraction, transformation, reduction, integration, and discretization. Several techniques can be used as presented here. To be able to detect dirty data, we can use quartiles, outliers, and box plots technique, as well as the variance and standard deviation, as well as finding similarity and dissimilarity among the data. So we can use techniques such as proximity and also distance similarity measure. Visualization such as using box plot and normal distribution also helps us to understand about the data behavior and tools such as Rapid Miner allows us to process and to execute data processing. Let me demonstrate to you about Rapid Miner. This is my Rapid Miner. So if you open when we start a new process, you can see here there is this fantastic tutorial provided by Rapid Miner. So, if you go to prepare data, you can see several data handling techniques. It's provided to take one position in text. So, here you can use, you can follow through these tutorials. Then go back by clicking the process. Here I want to show you the steps in the tutorial provided by the Rapid Miner. It is very easy for you to learn and just follow step by step. Next, I would like to show you the example on Python. Python is very useful to perform data processing. Example of library that we can use is Pandas. In Pandas, we can specifically use data frame, so we can use NumPy for data manipulation, Matplotlib as well as Seaborn. I will demonstrate to you an example of using Google Colab to do data processing using the Titanic data. Please feel free to 
get to this boat, you can click back earlier. I have provided the link information in this page. You can either scan it or retype this URL. First step is for us to import the library. And then load the data. So in this example, I'm loading the data from Google Drive. So we need to activate the O. So now, so now I allow access to the Google Drive. Only I can execute this in the set. So, here you can just click when you go to my site in Google Palette. You can execute the data step by step, or you can also copy, paste, and run into your own Google Palette. Let me switch to you. Now, you can go to put here. Python, it will be very case sensitive. And so, this here we can add a written error because the name plane is not defined, so I have to rectify it by putting plane as core data. So, this is the original data in plane. You can see here there are missing data indicated by not available and an. This is to do the test data. And this section B is on data manipulation. And go through this now. I will focus on the data pre-processing part. In the data pre-processing, several steps and examples are provided, including reduction, imputation, feature engineering, data transformation, and data standardization. Using SKLearn pre-processing value. And here, we can fill the missing values in H by using this field.fation. So here, the H all have data already. We can run again later to see this, to check it out. Remember, but we still have this in the cabin. This line demonstrates to you how to generate and print correlation matrix. Correlation matrix is good for us to know what are the relation, uh, attributes that have relationship. This drop function allows us to drop um, attributes which are not really important. We can combine by frames, um, the frames by using compare. This is to uh, fill the not available values. So from the end bar here, I'm going to change this to numbers. So from this C and S value, change to one and two here. Next is to change the um, gender. You can also uh, standardize the data set by using standard scaler. So the mine is not defined because I have not done combine earlier. Okay, it's here, so I have to run this first. And this here. Right? So I can run this again. Whatever. Then we can also split and replace values based on our hypothesis on the uh, data set. We can also drop irrelevant features. After the data preprocessing is done, we can see that number one, the, num uh, the features are now transformed and the features, the number of features are becoming less. So the model would have better performance understanding the data, 
and then we can execute and prepare uh, the data set for us to continue with the data modeling. So to summarize, data pre-processing is one of the crucial steps. The dirty or noisy data can be detected and also corrected and can be performed by several steps such as selection, integration, transformation and reduction. Thank you.